Hello, welcome to the QTP training section. I am going to discuss two parts in this video. The first one is download of the QTP tool and installation of the same. And the second thing is briefing of the application that we are going to use frequently in our future videos in all our examples, recording, scripting, etc. To download this tool, go to this link. Once you click this link, this page will get open up. The functional testing page. On this page, functional testing, go to this resource tab and within this resource tab, expand this trial software link and then click on this link HP Unified Functional Testing with QTP English Evaluation GUI and API Testing. So once this link is clicked, uh, the personal details form will get open. Fill up all the personal details and press this next button. On clicking of that next button, accept the terms of services and then click on this I agree button. Once that I agree button is clicked, it will list all the supporting software and the materials listed on this uh, functional testing page. So click on this link, the first one download link to download the software. Actually, this file is 3 GB in size and may take some time depending upon your internet connection speed. So it is advisable to use a download manager for this purpose. As you have seen, like this file is around 3 GB in size. So use a download manager for this purpose. Once the download is complete, then you will see this zip file should be downloaded. So unzip this file. Once this zip file gets extracted, so all these uh, folders and files will get listed into the folder. So to install the QTP, just double click on this setup file. Once the setup.exe gets double click, you will see this uh, page will get open. So on this page, you have to click this option, quick test professional setup. Click on the next button. Accept the terms by selecting this uh, I agree radio button and then after this select this next button. Fill the details on this customer information uh, screen. Put any name into this name field and put any organization here. Then click on this next button. So next uh, this custom setup screen will prompt us in this uh, screen there are the default options like what add-in to be installed and what not to be installed gets listed so proceed ahead with this default values like these three four values quick test professional activex visual basic web add-in and click on this next button with the default option selected do not select any other option on this page it will prompt you for the folder of your choice like in which folder do you want to install this folder if you want to change the folder just uh, enter the values here otherwise by default it will install into the program files hp and within quick test professional click on the next button once you have filled this folder option and finally click on the next button of the confirm installation screen so once you click this next button it will in start your installation of the qtp tool See, the installation gets started, so wait for the installation to get completed. Once installation is complete, so this installation complete screen will appear. Click on the finish button to access the QTP tool. Once the finish button is clicked on the installation complete wizard, this additional installment required screen gets opened. So uncheck this option run license installation wizard and then click on this run button. Once this check signs gets appear here, it means the installation requirements gets completed and then click on this close button. Like if you want to see the readme file, just check this checkbox otherwise uncheck it. Once the installation is complete and this all these requirements have been met, you will see this icon will appear on your desktop and uh, uh, maybe in your taskbar. It means your QTP gets successfully installed. So to start up with the QTP tool, just click on this icon and you will find the QTP window gets open. 
So this is all about the downloading the QTP tool and installation of the QTP um, tool. So once uh, the QTP gets installed, you'll continue on to the recording, playback and the scripting with the QTP tool. Now let's go to the second part that is the briefing of the application. So uh, I'm going to show you one application that is called the Orbits O R B I T Z orbits.com so this is the application basically it is a traveling site so we are going to use this application in our examples for the scripting purpose so this application has a different say radio buttons and different text fields so this is just a simple traveling site uh, if you enter uh, let's say some city sfo and let's say some city dallas and just put on some uh, leave date i'm selecting it for the one way trip and there is a, a button search flight so click on this search flight button so all the flights from the source city to the destination city gets listed over here so this is all the sites with all the flights with the prices and all the details gets listed over here so on this application we have a different fields over here like say this is the radio button so in QTP, all these fields, this radio button, this added box and similarly this calendar and again this label, all these fields are treated as objects. So when I am saying that just click on this object or just select this object that I am discussing about that field. So uh, QTP will treat these things as an object this label is also an object I mean this text is an also an object. So this is the application that we are going to use throughout our videos in all the examples in the scripting and the coding thing. That's all about the application. We'll see the more features and the more parts of this application as and when required in our examples at the time only. So uh, in this video, we have seen three things. First thing is download of uh, QTP. The second thing is installation. And the third thing is application so we'll use all these three things in our future videos thank you Basically.